What's up everybody? My name is Sophia Wilkins and I'm a sophomore here at Clemson University. During the semester, I'm interning with the communication department and I usually work on the weekly newsletter, I post on the social media, and I contribute to the blog. So we're doing a section this semester where we feature the various clubs at Clemson that are affiliated with the communication department and it's going to be called Club of the Month. So the Club of the Month for September is going to be PRSSA and in this video you will see me interviewing Sarah Saplicus. So stay tuned to learn more about her and more about the club. My name is Sarah Siplicus. I'm a junior at Clemson and I am currently acting as the president of PRSSA. PRSSA stands for Public Relations Student Society of America. It's been around for a while in the comm department and we've kind of gone through stages where at times we're not very active and sometimes we are more active on campus. The purpose of PRSSA is to develop ethical uh, future PR practitioners. So we work with nonprofits and businesses in the area to take what we learn in the classroom and then apply it to real life case scenarios. So we do a lot of social media work and we create a lot of various deliverables for those businesses. We are currently not hosting any public events, but some things we do in the club event-wise is we host guest speakers. And those speakers are different public relations and other professionals in communication from around the country. Uh, for example, we have a social media specialist from ESPN coming to talk with us, or we have uh, the vice president of SACS on Fifth Avenue coming to speak with us. So just a lot of networking events within the club. My favorite part about being in PRSSA is probably the opportunity to get to meet professionals in the area and kind of who do what I may want to do when I grow up. It's really nice to casually talk to people who have been in my shoes and you know, kind of give me the ins and outs of what it feels like to be a PR practitioner. I wanted to be a leader because I wanted to challenge myself and I wanted to see the club grow. So I kind of got thrown into the vice presidential position and then I just took over as president. But I just thought it'd be a really great way to expand my resume, expand my PR knowledge, and then just try something new. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is like great for your video, but my favorite memory is my freshman year, we went to like a networking conference and we were in this big van um, and our at that at that time advisor was driving the van and we almost uh, had a little bit of an accident. So that was really funny. Um, but maybe like a more appropriate answer would be I just really enjoy having like pizza nights with the girls and I like spending time with the group that we have, you know, making memories and then also like expanding our knowledge. We have about 40 members, but I would say there are maybe 30 to 35 who are active. Yes, PRSSA requires $75 dues per year, and those go towards not only our budget, but also to nationals, and that'll have you be a part of PRSSA nationals and then PRSA nationals, which is another great way to network with people and meet other professionals. Uh, PRSSA meet in Daniel Hall or online because we're doing hybrid currently and we meet every other Monday at 5.30. If you want to join PRSSA, you can go on Tiger Crest and request to join. It'll be accepted and then you'll start receiving our email or you can contact me personally and my contact information is also on the Tiger Quest page. You can also reach out to Jordan Morehouse. Um, I would say join PRSSA if you're looking for resume builders and a very low stress uh, learning environment. You, there's not a huge commitment, but the work we do is meaningful for the nonprofits in the area, and it's a great way to build your portfolio. 
currently PRSSA works with the Lot Project, which is a nonprofit that serves homeless people and they're based out of Anderson. But we've also worked with the Special Olympics and Habitat for Humanity. It's really low stress, I think. I would say other than the hour meetings, you would maybe work one to two hours outside of class within the two week time frame between our meetings. I don't think it's really high stress and all the work we do is pretty fun and easy to do. So I think it's really manageable. I would just say if you're not really familiar with PR and you want to learn more about different fields communication majors can potentially go into, I would definitely join the club. It's not a huge commitment and you know you'll meet a lot of great people and potentially future employers. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope that you found this video informative and you should stay tuned throughout the months in case you're interested in joining a club. I personally wasn't interested in joining a club and then when I interviewed Sarah, I realized that that club was perfect for me. So this series might surprise you. You might find something new that you never thought you would try. I'm going to link our social medias on this video and below so that you can see where to find the rest of our features and more information about the communication department. And I will see you guys next month. Bye.